come back after, after a long break and uh, we'll continue now the same session on LT that is LT physical channel and procedures part 23 we are already done with the 22nd part where we have already discussed the third step ECFICH transmission and you know how it is transmitted whether uh, we have this uh, indicators for PD uh, CCH you know whether one two or three symbols for PDCCH transmission so the ECFICH as you know is used for you know how many symbols one two or three for the PDCCH transmission now you will exactly understand the ECFICH formats used okay so before we start uh, the PCFICH structure let's uh, put some light on some some facts on the ECFICH First of all, we transmit CFI or the control format indicators in PCFICH transmission. So we send CFI or the control format indicators, which indicates how many symbols per subframe, whether one, two, or three for PDCCH transmission, uh, which is carried by a 32 bit information. Here it is 32 bits. Uh, information and 16 resource element distributed in frequency domain 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and this is the last four so total 16 number of resource elements this red colors marked here are the resource element wherein we are transmitting the you know uh, PCFICH so 16 resource element elements uh, distributed in the frequency so this is total 72 subcarriers and from here to here these are 12 subcarriers that means one resource block 1 2 3 4 5 6 this mid one is the dc okay so 72 carriers or six resource block we have taken this example we can take you know other example also to understand so 16 uh, resource elements are distributed among this 72 subcarrier for PC FICH transmission. Cell specific offset applied to distinguish from neighboring cells. That means the physical cell ID, you know. So we can use based on the physical cell ID, we can have this offsets for distinguishing between the neighbor cell and you know the serving cell and the last thing is it is sent in first three symbol of the subframe so it is usually sent in first initial three symbols of the subframe so these are subframes and this is frequency domain this one is time domain so let's understand now the PCFIC structure it is a two input bit which is enough to signal the PDCC size that is whether it's one two or three symbols you know uh, for the PDCC transmission so what we do or two bits input so the rate is 1 by 16 block code is used 1 by 16 block code then the th 32 bit as I told here carried by 32 bits information so it is carried through 32 bits information and scramble here here is a scam, scrambling area we scramble it again 32 bits is given as a QPSK modulation input and the modulation happens again with a 16 symbol transmission here 1 2 3 4 all these red color boxes are you know uh, these are 72 subcarriers in the frequency domain so each subcarrier you know it is 15 kilohertz and uh, this is transmitted in the first three symbols so there are 16 different resource element or four resource element group okay so uh, four resource element group or 16 resource element four resource element are combinedly called one resource element group so four resource element group or 16 resource element are used for FICH uh, transmission and uh, the black 
coilant boxes are reserved for the reference symbol transmission. So that is an example of a PCFICH uh, channel structure and uh, that's all for today and uh, in the next session that means in uh, LD physical channel and procedures part 24 we will be moving forward towards the further steps like the PDCCH and its formats and many more things. In PDCCH we have a lot more session to cover because it's really a vast topic the PDCCH and the PDSCH. So anyways we'll, we'll start that in the next session. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye bye.